What we have here is a little project I've been working on for the past little while, pondering about. This is a Remington 700 SPS Tactical in 223. Right now it's just the uh, barreled action and the stock, basically. I'm working on slowly getting some uh, adjustments made to it. Basically, what the plan is, is to remove the factory four round, I believe it's four rounds, might be five, four round uh, base plate and uh, hinged floor plate. So we don't want this anymore. We want something with more capacity. So most people would go with the, uh, the various detachable magazine systems out there which range from several hundred dollars upwards. But I'm kind of cheaping out right now and trying to result or trying to use some ingenuity here. So I'm seeing if I will be able to use standard AR-15 magazines. These here are uh, 10 round LAR-15 pistol magazines. This here is just a standard 30, 30 round magazine pinned to 5 rounds due to our Canadian gun laws. But these ones hold 10 because they're classified as pistol. So these ones are the ones I'm focusing on mainly. These ones, they may work if you were wanting to try this on your own, but you would have to probably play, play with the spring pressure in these because they might be too much. So for now, I'm going to work with these. The overall goal of my plan is to use one of these, which is a, uh, an AR-15 magazine adapter for the HK SL-8 rifle. So uh, basically it takes the HK SL-8 and uh, allows you to fit your standard 30 round magazine, or 30 or 20 or whichever capacity you choose magazines into that rifle. And it's just a handy little drop and replacement, costs 150 bucks or so depending upon where you get it. So, the basic plan of this is to mount, the, mount this just like that, but a little bit higher up. I'll be doing a little bit of trimming on the magazine well, as well as the stock of the rifle to move this upwards. Because you can see there's only about three quarters of an inch or an inch of material of magazine here and there's more than that for it to get up to the feed lips so I'll have to trim the, uh, the stock of the rifle to raise the entire unit upwards but that's some minor work for afterwards. The main goal that I was trying to accomplish here was to show that the AR-15 magazine which is a magazine designed for a rifle that has a very uh, fast and violent mechanism. It's designed for fast feeding, uh, not, you, not for a bolt action. But with the proper feed angle and the proper work, I've done some work to the feed lips and you just need to have the proper feed angle. That's a dummy round by the way, so just all steel, no gunpowder. With the proper feed angle, it can be made to be very reliable. There you go, chambered perfectly, no problem and extracted perfectly. I just pulled it out because I didn't want to go hunting for this. Let's pop that in, try it again. Well, hung up a little on that one. It's a little difficult to hold it at the correct angle just by hand, but that's what the magazine adapter will be for. Let's try that one more time there. Perfect. And once more, just for good measure. easiest pie. The key is just finding the right feed angle and the right distance forward in the mechanism. I've found that feed angle is just very slightly canted forward. I'm sorry, not a professional gunsmith so I don't have all the angles figured out yet, but just slightly canted forward and at the very front of your magazine well. So at the, the furthest possible point you can get it forwards. So. Uh, and as high as possible as well once the factory feed lips are removed. And that tends to work 99% of the time and I'll work on getting that to 100. But uh, it looks like a very it looks like a very promising project. There we go. Sorry about that. I let the magazine slip a little bit. Looks like a very promising project. I'm interested in following it a bit further seeing what I can do with this. The overall goal will be a rifle that takes cheap, readily available AR-15 magazines that can just uh, attach right into the rifle. 
there's the obvious loss of uh, a little bit of accuracy and also the fact that you can't really reload to the true potential of the gun because of the short AR-15 magazine. But accuracy is not my entire purpose for this particular firearm. I'm just more interested in playing around a little bit with it and seeing if I can devise a new uh, new operating system or a new mechanism for it. So once more, just for the cameras, make sure I got this feed angle right for the video. Beauty. Okay. Well, anyways, that's that's the overall goal. So I think it's very achievable with a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of planning. So wish me luck. If you got any suggestions, let me know. I'm uh, interested to see where this goes. Bye for now.